Ladies and gentlemen, you're warmly and profoundly welcome to this pork retudinous, harmonious, and gentle judicial dinkum oil forum. You know what you need to talk? And I, Professor Bicetitus, is the big week chachem kahuna and numera uno or bench of this judiciary. Please this ban. is a courthouse that is geared towards enhancing a society that is devoid of todu huha, hoha hokum, and brobding nagyan gaga. That being said, before I proceed to the bone of contention, I would like to stress that this court will not entertain any amount of Coswallop, flab doo doo, and bourgeois tato tato during the course of this court session. Okay. Now, young man, let's get to the crux and focal point of this indaba. Uh? What propelled just told and galvanized you to this courthouse? Thank you, my lord. Okay. This girl is Tanya and my ex girlfriend. Yes. We have been dating for four good years. Two years we stayed together for the same house. Dan Juma. This is them, but this girl just tell me say it's over between us. Yeah. She knows if do the relationship again. Impact artists go. When I do my own research, finish. <laughs> I found out that they get one guy ready travel, come back from UK, where she pack her bag, go stay with. Jesus. The guy promised and said go marry him. Eh? December don't pass, January don't reach, the guy don't go back. You no know, marry this girl. Chai. This girl pack her things, come back my house, come knock my dog. Boy, boy. As I open door, now she. He said, won't come back, come there with me. My lord, that guy didn't know if it happened. Uh -huh. This girl don't make noise for my company, I make her bring this case. Come here. Uh, so, young lady, after hearing his formulation and polemic peroration or tirade, <laughs> What is your own POV or what is your own side of the story? Thank you, my lord. What in the talk now, truth? My lord, I carry my bag. Say, I go visit one of my friends. We just from UK come back. <laughs> my lord, December don't come go. He don't go back to UK. Now, nah, say, I carry my bag. Come back to my boyfriend also. Okay. I swear, I don't do anything. Hey, hey. I don't do anything with the guy, yo. Now, nah, my boyfriend say, I don't go enter house again. Why don't go enter house now? Nah, relationship will not be for four years. My lord, I don't remove Bele for this guy. I say, we don't go enter house. Huh? My lord, I don't get anywhere to go. Now, nah, in house, I get. I don't get anywhere to go. Well, after hearing your obloku, Philippic, and your relative harangue, let me postulate and calibrate from my hypothalamus using the crinkum crankum that you both disembogged and disseminated to this honorable judicial edifice. At this juncture, intersection, and sangam, I have a few questions for the both of you. Let's have it. Starting Let's have with it. you, young lady. Why did you abruptly abscond and absquatulate from the house you were living with your boyfriend? My lord, you say? Why did you leave the house you were living with your boyfriend? Like I said, I went to visit a friend that just came from UK, nothing much. No problem. Um, young lady, did you at any point notify him that you were terminating the relationship? My lord, yes, I did now. I was not serious. Eh? And now, I've realized my mistake, my lord. My lord, I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't have anywhere to go to. And I don't remove Belay for this man, so he must marry me. He must marry me. No problem. Please, man. Young lady. Were you under duress or were you forced or cajoled into indulging in the abortion? My lord, I was not forced. We love ourselves. My lord, calm down for that one, I beg. You know what you need to talk? Now, over to you, young man. Do you still love her and are you willing to accept her back? No, my lord. My lord, when she been come out, she tell me, say, I'm not a class. She no get anything to do with me again. Child. But now, they don't disappoint her. She come back to me. My lord. Me, I don't go accept her. Uh-uh. You want me to go now? See, I don't get anywhere to go stay. Oh. So you must accept me. Oh. You must accept me back. I don't get anywhere to go. Father, please. Uh, young man, did she at any point contribute with you in paying the house rent? No, my lord. I mean, they pay the rent. Everything for the house. I mean, they buy her. Even her pants. I mean, they buy her. Uh -huh. Give me a modicum amount of higher tools. Let me have a confabulation and tete-a-tete -tete with my jury. Come with me gather. So this is my time. Barista title, so bring a grammar. Who be the babari? Barista title, child. At this juncture, intersection and sangam, after every hypothesis, evaluation, thesis, let me give you a concise and helicopter view on this issue. Now, this is the verdict. Young lady, you formally terminated this relationship because at that point you felt like you had a better option you dumped this young man causing him emotional damage yeah. because you had hopes of traveling abroad and because you've been disappointed you've decided to come back to him yes. and uh, this is the verdict of the honorable court the court is ordering you to stay away from this young man because he's not obligated to accommodating you uh -huh. except he deems fit that is the verdict Principal. gaga twangaga I got the advice from a madman.